Welcome back to Samstar Games, the place to find new strategy games, and welcome to my playthrough of the Spanish Civil War DLC of Panzer 2. We just finished our turn 5. We managed to move almost all of our units except these two on the other side into Spain. And uh, we're trying to get Seville, Seville Airfield and Axel Airfield, and also control of Cadiz. We can't quite step over this because they have this supply dump that we need to kind of destroy, so it's taking us a little bit of time. And they have, um, in, in the canal, they have their own ships. So we kind of have to avoid them. We can only do airfield transport now, but we should be all right. Ooh, we are hitting these guys pretty hard. I like that quite a bit. So let's start it off by disembarking my um, my units and moving them forward. Do we need to do that? Oh, did I move to the wrong place? Yeah, disembark. Move ahead. And that's good. Now, we got to start destroying this thing. So we might want to grab some of our artillery to do that. Actually, do we want to do it with artillery? I mean, we could. We only need one, I think. Let's grab this thing, move them down here and hit this. Great. Now the next time we can step into Cadiz and it's going to be ours now. Then we want to start using our planes. Get 02 here. Sure, let's get 02 on their artillery. No, sorry, on their Yeah, on their artillery. Yep. Yeah. Now do I do like utilizing these overrun abilities with my tank. So I would ideally I would like to Kind of make sure we could kill these guys with the tanks. So we want to make sure we prep for that. Now this is anti-air. No, this is artillery as well. And this is anti-air. So we want to make sure we use our artillery for theirs. Again, there's a thing. But if we step forward, it's going to be quite tricky for us because... I'm going to move ahead with this. And I'm going to do this. This means I can kill one of the artillery. We get two suppressed on our side. But it's not that bad. Then we'll do 3-2 on another one of their, on that artillery again. This allows us to suppress their artillery very strongly. We'll do 1-1 one, one with our planes. Yeah, let's do 1-1 one, one with our planes here. And that way if we hit these, um, these infantry, we won't get hit as hard. Oh, we could get 0-4 with this recon here. Let's do that. And then we're going to move forward. Their other recon, I'm going to move forward as well, do 1-3 on this side. Oh, and we're on a high ground, which is also quite cool. I do like moving a little bit ahead so we can see a bit better. Now, how do we want to move this around? This is anti-aircraft. We'll just move it forward. Actually, we don't know where yet, so we might want to move it this way. Get 1-1 one, one here. If I use an infantry, I could get 1-3, so let's do that. And then hopefully we could get that finishing shot with my tank. Not quite yet, I think. Maybe after... Yeah, now. Now we should get it. So we're going to get over on here. Or do we? It says 3. I can only do zero two. 2. Maybe we need one more shot with somebody else. You know what? Let's do zero two 2 with this tank. Oh, we, 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 we didn't get it. Now we can move with other tank forward. Finish them off. So now we get over on. And then we're going to move with that tank forward and use 1-5 on their artillery here. And my artillery is going to move ahead and shoot up their anti-air. I'm going to move my infantry to grab this objective. 0 one zero one one is not much to get, honestly, for this. I could just... Hit it a little bit better. Maybe that could be useful. Anti-tank. If I move there, I'm going to be in a horse transport, which is terrible for me. So maybe let's just replace this. I'm really, really trying to figure out the best way to do this. If I use the forced march, I could move here. Yeah, and do 0-3. And then get overrun with my tank, possibly. Yeah, I'm going to move, like, around. I want to see the area and hit this. Get over and again. We could do oh four one is a terrible odds are terrible odds for us. It's because this is anti tank. Hmm. We might actually want to fall back there, unless we can we get artillery behind my tank here. We cannot. So let's just just fall back. This is this would be a terrible decision. We should just be dead. We would just be dead. What can we get here? 
zero one on their anti air or zero one on their anti tank. Now let's do zero one on the anti air. No, oh. it's actually sorry. Every time I make that, I do that wrong. I apologize for that. Move here, protect our stuff. You, you can get what? Zero one on their anti tank. Do it. You can give me zero one. You know what? Let's do it. We want, we want to see what's around. Doesn't seem to be much around, honestly. So we are pretty good. Two two, and we only get suppressed. Perfect. Very good for us. This thing I can do nothing. Nothing useful. Let's just move kind of ahead, I think. We could move with some more stuff. With our recons, we could move a bit forward. Maybe place that tank there. And we could finally move forward with these units as well. I'm gonna embark, go over there on that aircraft. And on the next turn we can move in here as well. Good. I think we're done for this turn. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, we could now be moved. I was trying to check if there's some place where we can maybe like replace. But we cannot, so let's just end our turn. We've done everything where we could. It's alright. They're reinforcing their own stuff, which is perfectly fine. Where did you hit me? Oof. You only get suppressed, which is not too terrible. But the fact that they can get... The thing is, we gotta step on Cadiz fast. Otherwise, uh, they're gonna hit us hard over there, and that is not good for us at all. So let's step it. Grab it. And then we wanna walk out. If we can. Alright, so we could get... What can we get here? Zero, one... Oof. They reinforced their artillery. That is terrible to me. But we could get zero six with our tanks. Let's start this with ooh, one five with my recon. That's very, very good. And it's moving away. With the tank, we can get zero four, which is not quite enough. But with artillery, we could get, oh, sorry, with, with infantry, we could get one five. Do we maybe wanna, yeah, let's, let's shoot this thing first so our infantry does not get hit so hard. Then we'll do zero five, and we should be able to overrun these things with my tank. So let's first finish off their artillery. Captured enemy equipment, nice. These other guys surrendered. So we could now do one three over here. Do it. And then zero two, zero two is not so, so fantastic. You got, this is still anti-air, so this is still not great. Zero two on the left or four one, that's terrible. Terrible, terrible. Let's move with the recon towards this airfield. It's a real airfield secured. Be sure to protect it from counterattack. Okay, we'll try. One seven on their artillery. Anti tanks really aren't doing much for us, honestly. Just move forward over here. This is artillery that we could move. To where is the question? Move this forward if we're gonna be. Let's say zero two here, I think. And we're gonna try to move this tank possibly forward to that position. And then this artillery could go. Where? Move forward, but I don't think we want to do it just yet. Let's start with the planes. I, I haven't decided. Yeah, zero three 3 on this artillery is really good for us. Any really good... 1-2 on their plane seems reasonable to me. Let's do it. It's not really letting us do much of anything. Oh yeah, because we've got to disembark these guys, move them ahead. Very good. 
This is a fighter plane. Yeah, zero one here is going to be great. What about you? What can you give me? Zero one on their anti tank is not terrible. Or zero one on their infantry. I think it's more worth it on the. Ooh, actually, zero two on their artillery. We get hit by their plane. I should have destroyed their plane first because I could have done that, but I'm going to do it now. Sometimes you realize a little too late what you should have done from the beginning. Ooh, zero six. Bye bye. You are dead now. Let's stand. If we stand here, we're going to be weak against their anti tank up there. Because this is artillery, but not anti tank. So we'll just move this downwards. You don't want to do that. Move that forward as well. Just want to make sure everything is kind of close for future reference. This anti tank should go ahead. Forced march, like so. You guys can do anything. My plane. This is a tactical bomber. Let's see what they've got. They've got another anti tank here, a couple of infantry units. They have a lot of anti tank units. Gotta watch out for that. I'm thinking we might actually just wanna. So I have this six strength plane. I think I just wanna just replace it. I'm not gonna worry about anything else. Ooh, I should have actually probably moved it because they will be able to hit it, but that's okay. Let's use embarking here. We'll disembark up there on the following turn. And we could have a couple more movement. We could move forward with our recon. Let's do it. We gain some artillery this sorry, some prestige this way. And we might want to move the recon here just to kind of block the path so they can get... Well, actually, they have a tank right here, so <laughs> that did not help at all. That's okay. I was going to say, I'll protect my tank. And they're like, nah. The tank is right there. It can't really protect it. Okay. All right, what do we've got? I hope it's not going to finish the turn because we did two out of two, but I want to do the bonus objectives. Okay, good, 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 good. We don't have all of the Savie just yet, and we want to definitely grab that too, so. I'm kind of looking at this. All right, 4241, this is really not great for us here right now. We probably want to see, yeah, 0, 05 on their artillery. Zero five on their plane, yes, please. We can just uh, straight up kill their plane, just like bam, on the ground. You are, you exist no more. Do I have a recon somewhere near here? Yeah, but you can't get anywhere. Well, that was not helpful. What's up with you? You're anti tank. They've got no tanks. Like, what do you want from me? Oh, this is the recon. That recon gets slightly better odds than this. We gotta get our infantry forward. With a forced march, we could get to here, do one four on their anti tank. That's good. That is good, 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 good. Their artillery is gonna hit us for that, but I am willing to take that. Here, one, one, three, sure. If we get that over on bonus, we should be able to. Let's go get zero to here, and we can hit them from behind when we're ready, which is not yet because I'm, I'm going to make them weaker. Actually, we should make these guys weaker, otherwise it's 2-2 two, two on, on that tank there, and that's not great. Yeah, we can make them weak like this. Let's do 1-4. We only get suppressed, so we don't mind. We can do 0-2 to get over on bonus. And then, do we hit this and give over and bonus to that other tank, or do we try to do it differently? I think we'll move this forward that way. 
I don't I don't know about this. One, one. If we go from there, we could get zero two. So let's do it. Let's get zero two. Hopefully we'll get that overrun. And we can continue moving. No, we didn't. But we could get over on here then. No, not here either. Okay, okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. These guys, huh? We're gonna need we're gonna need some infantry on that. That's the thing. Could you go here and get some other alts? And by you, I mean this recon. Three, three. It's not terrible, but it's not great. Let's first try to suppress this. All right, this is one, two. We'll do that. We'll take the one, two. Now we could do one, zero, three with my tank and possibly try to run backwards. Oh, we can't move. Well, did what we could. This is my artil anti tank. And these anti tank things are kind of useless. More artillery for us. I don't want this tank to be in the open because they can just hit it. So we're just going to fall back. Try to step with the artillery forward. You just get replaced since you can't do anything anyways. And my infantry is going to have to move forward here. You with the forced march get close as well. We've got some time. It's good for us. Um... Zero two zero two. Let's start on this side. We get zero two on their anti tank art artillery. No, it is anti tank. <laughs> I feel like I said wrong every time I don't say it right, and I'm like, oh, I said it wrong. No, this time I actually did say it right. Not particularly good odds for us here. I think we'll start hitting, we should like just start hitting some of these infantry. We could also try to move the bases forward. Like for example, with this guy, if I can't do anything, I might just well just move you forward. Same for you. If I can't hit them, I can get near them. Yeah, you could get zero one on them there. Let's do it. These guys need a forced march and move as close forward as they can. And you... The thing is... Yeah, I, I don't think we need to stand there. I think we're going to be fine. We're going to rebase ourselves over there. You also need to move ahead. This is anti-air. Yeah, move that forward. Well, not that much forward. This way. And this is anti-tank. We'll move that behind our tank so we get some something. And I think we moved with everybody, so we're just going to end our turn. Are they going to shoot our recon here? We did hit them back pretty hard. Oh, they gra grabbed that. We, we left that open. It's okay. It doesn't matter. I want to make sure that I take this auxiliary airfield first. Because I think at least the way it worked in the main game is if you finished all the main objective, you, um, it was just over. And you did get bonus prestige because you were done fast. But the problem is you didn't finish the, the bonus objective. So I don't really want that to happen. Get zero one on everything. No, sorry. One five. Ooh, my recon is hurt pretty bad. If I move elsewhere, do I get anything better? Not particularly, no. Let's do zero four to suppress their infantry. Now, if you do one five. See, maybe, maybe we'll grab a plane and go there f as well. Unless, do we want to use our plane to destroy maybe their. This anti tank, anti tank as well. Um, yeah, let's hit their anti tanks. My tank would be terrible against that. Well, I can't really look. Let's do one five here with this with this tank. I do wonder if I should move my recon. Well, so I probably should. This is a four five. These are not engineers, unfortunately. But we could hit them for one two. Where could you move? You move like nowhere. We'll switch to anti-tank, which is not going to be overly helpful for us here. 
I guess it's better than nothing. You're standing in a really bad position. I think I'm just going to move you to the right because you're standing in my way and I don't want that. I need more infantry to move this way. Let's do it. We'll start with uh, artillery zero, zero 01 on their infantry. Then we could get 2 5, sure. Should be standing in because I forgot that if you stand in, you'll get a, a terrain bonus and all those things. So we really should be trying to get in there. Yeah, let's move like this. We get 1 3. We might be able to finish them off and get overrun. Not, not overrun, but still. 5 3. Five two. I move you to there. Five three. How is this gonna go? Let's move you guys like that. You guys like that, and then possibly from the back, some sort of an attack. Yeah, we'll start with zero tree suppression. Then we'll grab a plane. I have a plane here that I could do this with. Zero one. Go on. Zero one. Then we'll move our tank forward as well. We get three five. We get two five first. We get a bonus because of the mass attack, which is quite nice. Then we'll do two five. Ooh, they're gonna move away, aren't they? Yeah. Now I can follow with my tank. This is a common mistake that I did in my in my um in my previous playthrough that I would always move my tanks first because I wanted to kind of like come up with the plan and things like that and then this exactly thing would happen they would just like walk away and you'd be like oh you know you couldn't really use what you wanted to this recon we're just gonna replace it they're gonna hit it again but I think it's worth our time let's move this forward grab our other planes to hit and hit anything to just move and you move there. This artillery, no, it's still the anti tank thing. I didn't really like, but okay. Move them ahead. Move these guys ahead as well. With forced march, we could go that way. Oh, we've got we've got recon here. Good potentially. Can cross the river, this thing, so we just move there. This probably also won't be able to cross the river, so we just move it forward a little bit. Forced march, and you move forward as well. And then with our planes, we gotta do damage where we can. It seems to be nowhere, so let's just rebase all of our air planes to forward. Yeah. Slightly worried about leaving Cadiz completely open, but hopefully it will work out. They're hitting our infantry here. Then again, this is an auxiliary unit, so if this dies, eh. I should be sad about it, but I just don't care. Yeah, they surrender. <laughs> they heard what their leader said about them. They're like, you know what? No. If the leader doesn't care if you live or die, we are surrendering. <laughs> this this recon I'm worried about. I want that recon to live badly. But it's it's pretty beat up. One three is pretty good. Yeah, you can do nothing. We could so we finally have got an enemy tank, which we should celebrate for because we have had so many. Let's move in with our anti tanks first. But we'll do we'll do the two four here. Then we could do one two. So we're probably gonna move forward with this thing. Four, five. I'm gonna move in with my tank and do one three on that infantry over there. And then zero three to hit them up with this. And then four four. Four four. Is it worth four four? Could we have a recon that we could move into this position and back out of? I don't think we do. So let's start possibly with the oh, with planes. We'll do zero three here. So planes can do some high damage. Zero one zero one zero two. I'm trying to decide where's the best place to go with this. Let, let's start hitting these three cons of theirs. Four 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 three. Yeah, zero four on that thing in the back is useful. 
four, 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 five. With my artillery, I could get zero three on their infantry. Then we could get three four, sure. And a two five. That's pretty nice. Then this thing could move possibly away, so something else could step in. Like, oh, two one is terrible. I don't have forced march that I could use you for. Yeah, one four with these ones. So let's step in. And possibly. Plane can't finish them, unfortunately. But we are pretty close. Zero two with this, sure. I'm gonna switch this to anti tank and move it. Just replace it, I think. Zero one, zero one. Yeah, let's do, let's do zero one on their recon here. Oh, and we should start hitting these people on this side. We did forget, forget about that. Now, we're going to move forward to my artillery. Hit there. We could hit this. I, I do want to kind of focus on destroying their units right now. Instead of necessarily, like, hitting their units super hard. Because, instead of, like, hitting multiple units. Because I feel like they're replacing a lot. And I don't want to end up in a situation where we destroy something and they're just going to replace it in, in a moment. So that's not what we want here. All right, we need to move our infantry forward because infantry is kind of what we need the most here right now. This is anti-tank. I'll move it that way. I don't think we need it here. All right, we could go with our recon. Oh, I didn't realize we had that recon. I could have moved the way I wanted to originally. That's right. We'll do zero one one here to destroy some of that infantry of theirs. Artillery is going to move closer and hit their infantry. The one that's weaker, just so we can kind of focus our attacks a little bit. Hit this one. Our other planes are going to move that way. This is anti-air. No, anti-tank. All good. All good in that regard. Move. And we're fine down here. Is there anything else? We could move this artillery forward and we should... Let's move it here. This is going to give us a really good defense because if they hit our infantry or anything like that, we'll be protected. These two things, they're in trouble. But we're just going to have to hope for the best. So again, if I'm on their side, I'm not going to be shooting at this infantry because I can just destroy this recon with my stuff, but... You know, we, we, don't, we don't always have, a, have an option on doing better. We're hitting this tank here. Oh, that, that recon, that recon there is in trouble. <laughs> but it's not dead yet. Please don't kill my recon. No! <laughs> Oh, good, 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 they're not going to kill it. I don't think they're capable of killing it. Whew! We made it, and they didn't surrender. Thank you. Thank you for not... And, and, but I can't... Well, I could try if I move, and then, like, move further to get away. But we see, we might be able to actually destroy this thing. So we might... If, if we can get enough infantry nearby... We might be able to destroy it and then kind of just fall back with the infantry, which would be super useful. This tank, you've got some not so great odds. Let's start with my planes. We'll do a zero one one on their infantry here. And then we'll start as it. We'll do two five first. Then we've got a one five. We can only do one one though with my tank. That's really unfortunate. We can do nice. We're gonna do zero one with my artillery. This is also this is also artillery. So we could shoot that recon on the other side. We can't really do anything better on 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 the side over here. So this is this is really sad. <laughs> that recon is just gonna be gone. Let's hit. Ooh, we can hit their tank for three. That is really, really good. 
Can't do anything. You keep choosing you guys playing. Let's do zero two on their uh, art infantry over here. Zero one. Hmm. Still nothing useful for me to do there. With the artillery. All right, let's let's focus on on the opposite direction. We could do one two. I do like using the anti tanks on anything because they're just like not doing much in general. So I want to make sure we're using them. This is zero one. You can get one four. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff on the other side here. Let's do one three on this side. The tank could do zero two, which might or might not finish it off, but we've got nothing better to do with the tank anyway. All right, with this other tank, we could finish it off and then hit this infantry. Let's do it. Recon's gonna be dead, we'll get overrun. No, that's such a good plan. Just didn't work. How dare you? Do we go this way or that way? I think we go up. Let's do one five. And then we could move to the right or try to go to the left and leave that recon there. I'm gonna move the recon here into the city. We'll do one five up here again. What are they gonna do to that? They're gonna run. We could do forced march and follow. Actually, I might do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this um I'm gonna hit them and then I'm gonna to try to move here towards auxiliary or airfield. It is our goal anyway. It will allow us to attack a bit more on this side, which is good. We could destroy the recon as well. And we need one more plane to destroy that. Oh, you can destroy it, Sirius. So you can undo zero one. What about you? You can do nothing. All right, I guess zero one it is. That's the only thing we get. That's what we get. And 15, but if I use a forced march, do we want to attack them? I, th I think we do, I think we do, let's do it. One six, this anti-tank. We we're gonna move this to toward the other side, I think. Zero one, zero one. Start hitting people on this side. This tank, I don't know what to do with it. Um, yeah, I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. But this infantry, if I move you away, no, we, we want to keep you here to protect that, to protect that, that unit. You cannot move on the river, unfortunately. Uh, who, who are you deciding what to do with you? Uh, there's no point moving just a step ahead, so let's just like um, fill you up to full instead. We're gonna move these other guys forward. This recon can do nothing. I, I think we're good. All right, so we're going to have to end the episode here again. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments. You can click on the right to watch the next one. Actually, no, we, we should finish off this thing. We're going to do a zero one because that's the only thing we can do. And uh, we're going to just stay and stand here with the tank and hopefully. Alternatively, if you move back with the tank and move there with the recon, do you think we'll have a better chance of at least the tank surviving? Maybe, because the recon can run away anyway, so we're just going to do it like that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did run on in the comment, you can click on the right to watch the next one, or you can uh, click on the button to watch my other playthroughs of Panzer Corps. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.